Hi dear friends, um, I am Basant Kumar Maharana, tutor in physics. Uh, I am uh, here today to discuss about uh, the 11 science physics. Uh, this video will be useful to all of the students who have failed the 10th class exam and interested to make it, um, their career in the uh, science tree. Now uh, today we discuss about physics. In 11th science physics, there are so many chapters like uh, uh, motion in straight lines, motion, circular motion, rotational motion, laws of motion, um, fluid in motion, oscillatory motion, and the last chapter is heat and thermodynamics. So, 70% uh, of physics of 11th science is based on different type of motion, and, uh, and the last chapter is based on the um, energy that is uh, heat energy okay so before going to start the study of physics first we have to know that the mathematics is uh, one of the important part of physics <coughs> without mathematics we can't understand uh, the physics some uh, chapters like uh, trigonometry logarithm differentiation integration these are some chapters which are merely necessary to understand the physics so, the first chapter of physics is mathematical note to physics. That is, to understand physics, we have to study first some mathematics. So, uh, trigonometry one of the chapter, uh, which you know uh, in 10th class. So, but uh, logarithm, differentiation, integration, these chapters we have to study now. So, today, uh, let us start with the chapter differentiation. Okay the mathematics that is called differentiation let us discuss differences ok let's start consider y equal to function of x for example y equal to x square if uh, we take uh, x equal to 1 then the value of y becomes 1 if we take x equal to 2 then the value of y becomes 4 if we take x equal to 3, then the value of y becomes 9. So, for different values of x, there are different values of y. We can put here the value of x arbitrarily 1, 2, 3, 4, anything, but the value of y cannot be independent. The value of y depends on x. So, here the x is called independent value. Because the value of x is independent that is its value uh, may be 1, 2, 3 or anything but the value of y depend on the value of x so the y is called dependent value if uh, we change the value of x that is independent variable from 1 to 10 then the value of y changes to 1 to 4 if the value of x is changes to 1 to 3, then the value of y changes to 1 to 9. So, based on this change of variables, the mathematics differentiation is greater. That is, for example, y equal to f of x, the value of x is x1 and the value of y is y1. And the value of x at x2, the value of y becomes y2. So, if the value of x is changed from x1 to x2, then the value of y is changed to y1 to y2. So, change in x, what is the value of change in x? Is x2 minus x1, say del x. Say del x. Similarly, if uh, the value of x is changed, to del, uh, changed by del x, then the change in y change in y equal to y2 minus y1 y1 root y2 could change it so y2 minus y1 that is del y so if the value of x if the change in value of x is del x then the change in y is del y that is the change in the change of value of x that is independent variable is del x then the change in y that is del y okay so the ratio of these two things change in x and change in y it is del x by 
Hello. This change, the ratio of change is called dy by dx, that is derivative of y with respect to x. But the condition is that limit del y del x. Limit del x tends to 0. That is, the value of x is changed. But the change should be very small. That is, here the value of x is 1 and change it to 1, 2. So that is called large change. If we change the value of x from 1 to 1.01, the change is 0 0.01. That is called small change in x. That is called small change in x. So if the value of x is very small, then what is the value of what is the change of value of y? That ratio is called derivative of y with respect to x. Okay. A limit. This is called limit. Limit del x tends to 0. That is the value of change of x is so small. That is it tends to 0. For example, in which case we met, uh, in method is we use uh, limit. Consider there is a drop of water in a class. In a class there is a drop of water. In that case, we can say that uh, the class has some water. But it also cannot be said that the class is empty because the class con uh, contains one drop of water. So since we can't say the class has some water and we can't say the class is empty. So in that case, we use the language the glass has some water but that tends to zero. That is, the glass has some water but that tends to zero okay so similarly here in that case we use limit that is that the value of x is changed but the change is very small in that case we use method is limit that is del x tends to zero so finally we can say if we change the independent variable by a small bit that is a very small value in that case the change of dependent variable and the change of independent variable. The ratio is called derivative. This is the definition of differentiation. And it is read as derivative of y with respect to x. This is read as derivative of y with respect to x. And its definition is del y by del x. That is changing y by changing x but the change of x is uh, small this is the introduction of differentiation and uh, we study this thing elaborately in mathematics in the last chapter of mathematics of 11 physics uh, mathematics but here uh, we should uh, only uh, remember some math, uh, some formulas related to differentiation which are derived based on this definition we have to just uh, remember the formulas and uh, tries to use these formulas in, the, in different cases this is sufficient for physics so if uh, one can uh, understand these things simply uh, i want to say that if you remember some the formulas based on differentiation and uh, uh, can use thus formulas in different cases then that is sufficient for physics okay so let's practice some formulas based on differences. These formulas are derived by using this form, uh, this definition of derivative. But we have to now just remembering that formula. Okay, let's start the formulas. Formula. The first formula of derivative if y equal to x to the power n here x is the independent variable y is dependent variable and n is a constant 1 2 3 minus 4 half one third anything a constant then the follow of the formula said derivative of y with respect to x is n x and minus 1 n x and minus 1 for example let's understand this by an example y equal to if x cube so the value of n is 3 here so the formula if we, uh, we use and the answer becomes x to the 1 the answer is n x and minus 1 x to the 3 the 3 x 3 minus 1 
that is the answer is 3 x square that's the answer just we have to remember this formula and use this in different cases like this ok so that's uh, I am giving you some uh, formulas some questions based on this formula you have to practice this at your home ok so questions find dy by dx question number y is equal to z by making the pause the video uh, you can write down these uh, questions on your not notebook and uh, do the answers by based on this formula and the answer um, I will provide in the next video ok we just practice these questions so now um, let, uh, let us understand some more formula based on derivative this is the first formula and by based on that formula you have to practice these questions Okay, by making pause the video, you just write down these questions on your notebook and then do your yourself. Okay.